Hey everybody, it's your Ragley Righteous Pal Numerous and here, back with another LEGO set review. And, now that Spider-Man's officially back in the MCU, we're gonna be reviewing set number 76129, the Spider-Man Far From Home Hydro-Man Attack set. Now, this is one of the biggest sets I've got in recent time, and it's possibly gonna be a two-parter video, because for some reason I have a time limit when I'm making videos. It's complicated. Anyway, let's get to building the set. And now that we're finished building it, which, eh, wasn't really that hard, just a snap of the fingers. We have the uh, Italy area. I don't really know what exactly this area is called. It's something, I don't remember. This comes with three figures, four including Mysterio, but we already took a look at him and one pretty kick-ass looking set. So let's take a look at the figures and then we'll take a look at the entire set itself. Starting off with probably the best looking Lego fig in the set. Either that or Hydro Man, I don't really know. We have Peter Parker. Now, this is probably one of the best looking Peter Parker Lego figs ever. There was the one from the, sorry, let me move it back a little. This. There was one in the original Tobey Maguire Lego sets, but this is best yet. Even comes with this little, like, beanie Lego piece with the Spider-Man eyes on it to give it, like, a little kind of putting on his mask half-assedly, which is pretty kick. It's pretty cool. Also, dude, your identity needs to be a secret. Cover up your shirt, man! But yeah, of course it does come with an extra hair piece in case you don't like the whole hat look. On the back, it's not much except for the hood printed on. Also, I'm not looking at the web accessories because they're the same ones as the other Spider-Man sets, so it's kind of unnecessary. His alternate expression is a shocked face, and I'm not really, speaking of the Lego head, I'm not really, I don't really think I'm up for this whole Lego head. This. Did they use this Lego head for Ant-Man in the a couple of the Lego sets? Honestly, like, possibly anybody. I think the best option would have been to pick the Marty McFly Lego head. Or something. But I guess you can get used to it, if you can. Next up we have, well, I'm pretty sure exclusive, but I don't think it really is. Michelle, or according to the movie, MJ. Now, this isn't really a bad figure, but it reuses some uh, Lego pieces. The weird fish thing on the back, that's a part of the hair and stuff. I do like it, it actually kind of looks like her, except the hair. Zendaya's hair is a little bit different in the movie than it is here. The alternate expression isn't anything different, but it's kind of an expression you can sort of see her making in the movie. Okay, next up we have, uh, actually let me take them off this thing. We have one of the other cool Lego figs, the Hydro Man. Now, I don't really know his origin exact, all I know is that I remember him from the Spider-Man animated series along with possibly a couple others. This is a pretty cool figure. I like there's little bubbles inside the Lego fig, if you could see them. It's a little difficult. The camera's probably blurry for each of you. Hang on. Yeah, I don't know if that did the trick or not. But you can see some little bubbles inside his body, which is a little cool detail, because, you know, Hydro Man. If you use your imagination, you can use this for like some kind of custom Iceman Lego fig if you want. It may not work, and people will kind of critique you for it, but hey, whatever works for you. Now we're not taking a look at the Mysterio fig because, well, the Mysterio, the Mysterio fig is basically the same as the one in each of the other sets. And no, I will not be reviewing the Stark Jet set because that one's kind of crap. So here we have the little area, the little itty, the, the area from Italy that I don't really remember the name of. 
There's some pretty cool play features in here. There's this little nozzle on the, not nozzle, there's this little thing here where, hang on. Let me get Mr. Parker. And if you press that, and they, they just go flying. Damn it. All right, hang on. Like that! Also, there's a little newspaper piece, which is some sort of warning for Mysterio or something. I don't really know how the movie goes. I still haven't even seen Endgame yet, which is... <laughs> but apart from that, there's a little coffee shop area, which is actually pretty cool. I like these little builds. I gotta get more Lego sets like these. And on the inside, there's a little coffee maker machine. It's, it, 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 it makes coffee, and this is where I got the coffee mug from the bat, when I did the Batman set review. Also, there's a little piece of pizza. Pizza, pizza. And the little sticker that says, well, you can't really, yeah, Floria's, I don't really know how to pronounce it, Floria's Cafe? I don't know. Have these little web pieces, I don't understand why. Speaking of the... This little area, there's a little, um, actually hang on. There's a little thing on the back here that kind of like with the uh, table over here, if you press the back, it goes flying. I think that's actually really cool. I wish I could build stuff like that, but I can't because I suck. Yeah. Crap. Anyway. Yeah. There isn't much here. Uh, well, along with uh, either MJ or Michelle, depending on what you want to call her. She does come with a weird little canoe build. And I like it. It's pretty simple. And this little uh, oar, this oar here, I have it on a little stud. That way I can just stick it. There, I guess. Eh. Whatever works. There's a little, like, sewer grate, a window. You can't see it because it's black. Also, there's a wee little secret. Like, I didn't expect this. But, uh... Someone tell Swift Bricks I found Ron's weird pet rat friend pedophile, whatever. I found him. I'm gonna leave him there. A little pizza there and a ruby for some reason. I want to know the story behind this. <laughs> like, I know that they're being attacked by some water cyclone thing, but I want to know the whole story of this. Now, apart from that, there's not much underneath the, the bridge. There is some weird little gap in between there and stuff. But apart from that, you can see uh, the two pennies in the back. Apart from that, that's kind of the entire set. And, eh, either way, if you haven't seen Mysterio, this is basically the genuine idea of what he would look like. I know he doesn't come with the blue head. I just gave him the blue head because it kind of it, it kind of gives it a bit of a kind of movie-esque look. I know that, well, he kind of has like a little green fog in his helmet more than it is a gray. But, yeah, it works. Now, like I already said, it's not, I'm not going to be review. Oh, ah! There's a little web thing up here. You can move it around. This isn't important. You can also remove this thing if you wanted to. Don't know why you would. But, you could. I'm going to be doing another LEGO set review at some point. Another Spider-Man set, ironically enough. But anyway, there you guys have... Sorry. But anyway, there you guys have it. That is the set in its entirety. I know that this was a pretty uh, crap review, but I'm making cookies right now for me and my little brother. And I'm trying to get done as fast as I can. So, with that in mind, thank you guys for enjoying this set. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think about the set. If you think it's radical, 
or you think it's not radical, whatever the reverse of radical is. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Also, tell Ro tell Swift Bricks I found that I forgot the guy's name, the pedophile-looking dude from Harry Potter. I found him. Bye.